Well, have you ever had a roommate that you frankly just could not stand? Maybe they're messy or they infringe on your personal space. Or both. Um, I'm picturing my first college <laughs> roommate ever. It didn't last very long. It all worked out okay. I got my own room. But it doesn't just happen in our younger years, you guys. This next story takes place in a senior living facility. And it sounds <laughs> hilarious. Ripcord is coming to stage at the Omaha Community Playhouse. We're learning more from director Kimberly Faith Hickman. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Hi, and can I just interject here? It is not a musical. <laughs> I literally have no idea why I said that. I said Ripcord the musical in the bumps. I, it, it, is not, good. it is not. It is not. Maybe make up <laughs> songs in step. your own head. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it is coming to stage on January 19th. That's and right. let's start with the plot behind this program. So Rev Court is about uh, these two women, Abby and Marilyn, and they are roommates in a senior living facility and they are complete opposites. So it is a little bit of an odd couple story. Uh, one is very clean, one is very messy, uh, one is very quiet and reserved, one is very outgoing and energetic, uh, and they just have very two different outlooks on life. And so they are put in this room, one of them has been there for four years, the other has been there for a few weeks, and they want the room to themselves. So they decide to make a bet that one of them can scare the other one and the other can make the other angry. And whoever does that first wins the room. Oh my and gosh. more specifically, the bed by the window, yeah, which is the prize so fighting spot. over that. Yes, so they start playing all these crazy practical jokes on each other. Uh, there is a drugging, there is a mugging, there is <laughs> oh a gosh. skydiving incident. It's, it's that's very- That's the ripcord. Yes, <laughs> that's the ripcord. Yeah, it's very competitive, so it's a lot of fun. Now well, I gotta ask, is this more of like an adult performance? Can kids come to this? Uh, there are, there's some adult language, uh -huh. so I would say parents, uh, it's not for kids. Yeah. If you're cool with your teenagers hearing some- Right, because I was kind of wondering words, when she was talking thing. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Discretion is advised. I'll okay. say that. <laughs> well, I think women like you know that like to entertain. As we get older, there aren't always great roles out there. Everyone's always looking for the ingenue, but this right. isn't really the case with these roles. They're really tell us about the actresses that you have in them and these good meaty parts. Yeah, yeah. So one of my favorite things about this play actually was those parts. And uh, Judy Radcliffe and Char Willoughby are the two women that are playing these two leading roles. They've done a lot of shows here in Omaha over the years and at the Playhouse and other theaters in town and uh, they're just fantastic roles they're so funny but they're very nuanced you get to see a lot of different layers to these women and you get to learn a lot about their personal lives and their family lives and what what has informed who they are now and I think it's really important for women to have those opportunities especially um, more mature actors who you know they have the they have the goods to bring it and mm -hmm. to show it to an audience and um, those opportunities don't come around so that was really appealing about this play and now let's talk about the visuals of it we heard that the set design might be unique for this program? It's very unique. So we, uh, Paul Pape is our set designer and Paul's really fantastic. He's uh, from here in Omaha and went to school at UNO a while back ago. The set, uh, we we worked off of the, the idea of a ripcord. So the set is made out of steel, poles, and rope. And the poles and rope connect in all kinds of different configurations to create different spaces. So it's the That's set cool. sort of breathes. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool and very different. Um, it's not what people I think are going to expect, but I'm really excited about it. With the competitiveness and that element, will audience members find themselves like rooting for one or the other, or will they be going back and forth? You know, I think going back and forth because just when you really like one of the women and not the other, you you switch pretty quickly. So, and they both do pretty uh, hilariously dreadful things to one another. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think you're gonna you're gonna go back and forth a little bit. And what would you say is your favorite part about directing, directing, directing this uh, program? Uh, specifically, I would say the the actors I'm getting to work with. There are a couple of people that are new to the Playhouse, which is really fun and important to bring people into the fold. You know, the Playhouse has been around for 93 years, and the only way to keep it going is to to bring in new people. But it's awesome to put them with uh, actors like Char and Judy, who are alumni and have been around and brought the institution to where it is now. So I would say the people, really. You guys always do a special ticket offer, and it usually falls on a Wednesday that kind of gives people the opportunity to, A, do something on a Wednesday night, but yes. also to get a break on ticket prices. So $10 tickets for Wednesday the 24th. You have to get them at the box office the day of the show. 
What time do people need to show up and how quickly do these go? People start showing up for those when the box office opens. Sometimes people get there before the box office opens. I've seen people camped out with their like lawn chairs in our lobby. And yeah. Maybe it'll be stretch. warm on January yeah, 24th. Yeah, exactly. So some people show up at 9 o'clock a.m. with their that's lawn chair. Opens. With their, that's when the lobby opens, yeah. with their coffee, with their, they're just, they camp out for the day. So uh -huh. it's really fun. <laughs> so you just kind of got to play it by ear. If you can make it down there, try to make it down there for yeah. that offer. Yeah. Uh, Ripcord is January 19th through February 11th. Plenty of time to go check it out on the Hawks Main Stage Theater. Uh, in the Omaha Community Playhouse, of course, putting this on. Tickets start at just $24. That Wednesday deal, you can't miss out on that. OmahaPlayhouse.com. Sounds like a ton of fun. Lots of like fun. Like a girls night, great us. girls night out. Right. Great yeah. girls yeah. night Although out. Although I think we're sure. probably both the messy one. Yeah. 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 Okay. I've seen your house. You haven't seen mine, but I've talked about my house. And so we've, we're both messy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.